Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have got for you a first impressions slash review, although it's mainly first impressions because I can't really review it straight away, but it is actually the Rimmel Match Perfection SPF 20 foundation. It says pore blurring effect, which is really exciting to me because I have huge horrible pores and I just hate them. So I've primed with the Rimmel Fix and Pr Perfect Pro Primer, which I'm actually really liking at the moment. And I'm gonna use the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques, because this is the brush I always use, so I figured keep it, keep it the same every time. So that's all good. So I'm gonna apply it all and I will tell you my opinion. So I've got one coat on. I just, I can't, is it this? So, <laughs> something smells really, really nice. I have actually, no, because I've just washed my brushes. I think it's this. It can't be. No, I don't know what it is. Oh, anyway, I'm going to put some more on anyway. This is definitely not the same coverage as this one. This is amazing for coverage. Now, I will actually say I'm pleasantly surprised because I was worried about the shade. I have not got the same shade that I got in the other one. And if you've been watching my videos, then you'll know that I am such a massive fan of this foundation and this colour is perfect for my skin. This is in the colour Ivory and this one is in the colour Light Porcelain, which when you look at them together, there's a, a, quite a difference in the colours. This is really, really pale one. This is a really, really pale one. Uh, but it matches my skin fine. I think, to be honest, it's probably actually slightly lighter than I would need, which is like crazy because I am so pale. And like e a lot of foundations, even the lightest shade that they do is too dark for me. So this is like awesome. I am actually such a fan of Rimmel. I just think Rimmel is, I have to say, it used to be Maybelline or L'Oreal, but I have to say, I think that Rimmel is now my favorite, like, drugstore. Is it drugstore? It's not, is it? I'm saying drugstore, High Street. It's my favorite drugstore um, brand, I think, at the moment. I'm just, like, loving Rimmel so much. So, I don't know if, is this making me look really, really pale? Like, when I look in the mirror, it doesn't look so bad. Um, bearing in mind, I have got really bright lights on. But, the thing is, it might make, it might make me look quite pale, but it matches my neck. Because I am really pale, like, I'm a very pale person. I think this will be perfect in the winter. Um, I have got my Maybelline one that I've just done like a first impressions on and I do really like this but it's just a little bit darker so I think I'm going to be using this one for a few weeks while my skin gets a little bit of sun hopefully and then I will probably move on to the Maybelline one and then this one will then be used again in the winter I'm really actually really excited I definitely think it's not as high of a coverage so I've just done like two thin layers it's buildable it's not gone cakey so that's really good so I don't know what you can see, but um, oh wow, I'm out. Yeah, I'm really happy. Oh, I love you, Rimmel, so much. Rimmel is so good, it's so good, and it's so affordable. I just love it. So, really pleased with this foundation. It this can be a review. I'm really, I would recommend this, this foundation. Great first impressions, and I'm really pleased with it. I will be using it, I'll be using it in like videos, and I will. I'll always update you on whether I love it or not. I'll always go, I'm using this, I really like it, or I'm trying to use this up because it's rubbish and whatever. But yeah, really pleased, really pleased with the shade because I was worried about it. Once I bought it and got it home and realised that I hadn't got the same shade, I was like, ah. Oh. But yeah, this is really good for a pale shade. And obviously, I'll be putting powders over the top, blush, bronze, 
you know, I can, I can add the tan afterwards, but you just don't want to have that horrible line where it's too dark for your neck. So, thumbs up Rimmel, keep being awesome. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe if you're not subscribed, give me a thumbs up for this video, let me know your opinions on this if you've got this at home, and I will see you next time, bye!